possible. <laughs> well, other than that sound issue, I hope that the stream has been enjoying the cast so far today. We did have some lag issues yesterday. I'm hoping everything is clear as day for you guys and gals on the stream today. And, okay, yeah. and he says we... Oh, Mr. and... Mr. Ben. Ben Fishstick says he has us on the uh, Twitch TV slash Justin TV front page. So thank you very much to them. Let's bring back our view and make sure that we are in the game. We are indeed. So here we are in Twilight Fortress. Uh, down... Well, where has my overlay gone? There we go. Down to the bottom left-hand <laughs> corner of Twilight Fortress, we have Dignitas Select from Sup Sons. He is our uh, blue Terran player. His teammates, Optic Zero... From FXO, he is in South Korea at the moment. He is our pink Protoss player. Their opponents in the top right-hand corner, we have... Oh, sorry, I'm about to say noodles. That noodles. It says noodles. That is MYM Dolly. He is spawning as our yellow Zerg player. His teammate, also from Mitri Makers, is Pythonus. That is our red Terran player. Yep, so Kaoru, noodles, don't worry about it. It's actually Pythonus and Dolly from Mitri Makers playing from Europe right now. So we actually have... Players on three different continents, assuming Select is in North America somewhere. He's kind of like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where you <laughs> actually have to have clues to determine the location. Where in uh, the world is Carmen San Diego? Was I not supposed to? I'm not getting no. any backup here. No, you're not. Oh. You're not Ooh. supposed to do that. Oh. But Twilight Fortress, uh, we did cast this map yesterday. I believe VT Gaming played against MYM, and that was a pretty, pretty darn long game if I remember correctly I think it was our 134 minute game of yes. the day so uh, um, I know they have a propensity for playing some longer games here MYM at least and Select and Optic Zero have shown that they're a little bit more comfortable in the late game obviously they basically the games they have lost have been pretty quick ones so uh, we'll see if Twilight Fortress is going to allow them some breathing room maybe they'll get this joint wall constructed here in just a moment and maybe Optic Zero will take another really fast Nexus this map would not surprise me nearly as much as that last one. No, and I think they've been preparing for this sort of a match. They've wanted, I, they were calling before for that shared ramp, and it looks like that is the strategy they're going after because, I mean, it's, gonna, it's going to allow Select to put up a nice little wall there. It's also going to allow um, Optic Zero to reinforce this with cannons to make sure no units are able to get in there and do um, a significant amount of damage. And, oh, there we go. Dolly is going to have to run away. He'll recover some health and come right back, though. But Select, being so smart with his micro, is going to have a nice full HP SEV there. Um, building that barracks. So here we go. Looks like Optic Zero building a pylon inside of his base as well. There's our first photon cannon. So what we're seeing is a very, very prepared wall defense here from Select and Optic Zero. I'm wondering if Dolly has any qualms against uh, building Banelings. I haven't seen him actually do that yet. Spanishua, mm -hmm. our Zerg player yesterday, used Banelings in pretty much every game. Um, and this, this would be a decent map to do it on just if you are going to try and do some early aggression just because that wall-off is essential to the strategy of Subsuns, and it looks like it's definitely not essential to the strategy of MYM. Obviously, if you have a Zerg player, they're not so good at uh, helping out with those wall-offs unless they build a hatchery wall. I have seen that before, where they built four hatcheries huh. to block off the Twilight Fortress uh, ramp. And let's see here, Optic Zero is going to his gateway, that is gateway number one, so uh, he'll be a little bit late on his tech, but he's going to be pretty well defended, and he's going to have a very, very nice economy. However, looks like Dolly and Pythonus are once again expanding very quickly, they did this in the last game as well. It You know, that actually didn't work out as well. It seems like, you know, you were alluding to the fact before that Select and Optic Zero are very, very comfortable in uh, long macro games, and that's what this one looks like it's set up for. And I think that is going to favor Select and Optic Zero due to their 1v1 uh, background and things like that. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I'm just a little bit concerned because early rushes have been so effective against this team, and I'm surprised that everyone's not just doing that over and over and over again. Anytime we have a game that goes beyond... 10 15 minutes select an optic, optic zero have won it yeah and a pretty quick lair from dolly makes me kind of wonder what he's at uh since he doesn't have a roach horn sometimes you'll see a roach horn followed by a quick lair just mm -hmm. so you can spam out all those upgrades as quick as you can but lair before any other production structure really is kind of puzzling to me maybe a quick spire mutalist can be very fun to play with on this map you can attack the fringe sort of of uh, like for example optic zeros natural you can just bounce in there with a bunch of mutalisks and it takes a while for select and optic zero to get all their units over to that area unless they're already cannoned up or turreted up or whatever and uh i think well so an evolution chamber first thing built after the lair finishes again yeah. kind of puzzling not sure where he's headed with this 
Interesting. Infestation okay. Infestation pit. Ooh. That's a decent choice. Yeah, kind of cool. Fastest lair. Ultra list rush. Yeah, ultra yeah. rush. Fastest lair. Broodlord ultra. Nightest play. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. No ultra list rush. Totally the countered void race. Um, I, if you didn't know, I'm yeah. just putting that out there. No. They're uh, allergic to laser beams too. <laughs> I know. You know, I always feel like I have to get addition jokes with like slash sarcasm on the internet, things like that. Because I could just imagine Jack going, you know, no, ultralists <laughs> are not the counter to void raids. This guy is a bad caster. I was severely disappointed with Cat's Pajama's expertise in this two v two matchup. He thinks that ultralists are the counter. <laughs> we get like a super long serious Team Liquid post. Yeah. Um, oh God. <laughs> so Optic Zero is on double Stargate now. He's going up to Phoenixes right away. Looks like we're going to see something similar to the previous game. He spammed out a bunch of Phoenixes, did economic harassment, and then just transitioned into double um, Void Rays from there on out and just made a ridiculous Void Ray wall, as you were talking about before, which, uh, like you were saying, is something that uh, you were comfortable with. When I played 4v4 with Chill the other day, um, he told me to just go, what was it? What was the build? Nexus, Pylon, Nexus, 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 and then you just spam 10 Stargates. There's a um, Pylon in there? Yeah, there was, because you had to get up some supply at first before the Nexus is uh, finished. I see, I see. But, um, yeah, and so, you know, it was multiple Nexus, a billion Stargates. Kind of fun to play. Super fun to play, especially in 4v4s when you can just feed the Void Ray player. <laughs> and it's, you just, it's unstoppable, man. I've, I've done it in free-for-alls before with tons of success. You basically just... Uh, anyone who comes in to try to attack you sees 50 Void Rays and they leave you alone. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. But uh, in this game, we're seeing a lot of add-on play, a lot of swapping around, select. Uh, actually was dropping a Stargate. Was that onto a reactor or a tech lab? Like, uh, he was actually going to build a reactor. Okay, so, so yeah. no super fast Cloak Banshee this time around. Lots and lots of MMM instead. Looks like it's on the way. Factory, second factory. Must be a second factory because he's already got Yes, one. it is a second factory. Tank Marine, lots of medevacs, more standard sort of 1v1 play going on from select gold base being taken over now by MYM Dolly. That's certainly going to help. The economic game is the first one to take a third base, let alone the gold base, but Optic Zero unable to really try and make a dent here. There's just turrets already in place, and if they can't uh, lift anything, they definitely can't hit any buildings. No surprise to see no turrets there in the main mineral line. What were you thinking? Yeah, absolutely. That's a little bit weird um, because Optic Zero was able to do his damage then. There are plenty of sport crawlers everywhere, though. Man, that is a lot of sport crawlers. Oh, Fungal Growth only manages to catch one Phoenix. He'll probably leave that alone. It's not, alone. It's not worth spending the three or four Fungal Growth there just to take down one Phoenix, especially that Phoenix is going to voluntarily get itself some damage and run past that sport crawler. Uh, can you take Optic Zero's vision? And see if he spotted that gold base as he was flying out of there. He's, at. he's four, of course. He would be the last one. He, he did. did. Just yeah. barely grazed that gold hatchery, so that's good for him. <laughs> good for Select as well. All right. So let's see now. He's charging up the shields back on these Phoenixes. Oh, Hive is coming up already. Ooh, and there is a Spire as well. So we may see a very, 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 very quick Greater Spire. But once again, he's going to get torn up by Void Rays, even if he does the Broodlords. It's true. So, hmm. Fungals are great, though, if he just puts a lot of money into those investors and just has Broodlords as sort of backup. Like, yeah, Fungal to, is to help a... out against those Marines and tanks. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Fungal, useful skill to have. He's um, going to run out. I don't know. I mean, this is going to be interesting uh, because Select has a pretty good army to go against this as well, especially considering that... Um, Pythonus is only going for a mass marine build here for the time being, unless I'm totally mistaken. Looks like he Just does have a tech lab MMM. factory, yeah, but he's not really doing anything with that at the moment. He is putting down a second uh, factory as well, but it looks like we have a big coordinated attack here. A couple of drops being sent out for both players. Double drop, actually, for Pythonus. He has uh, uh, these medevacs sending out to the left and right, Ooh. and we have another base being taken by Dolly as well. Select army is mobile and headed toward that gold base. I don't think they even know about that fourth base, though, that's going up now for uh, Dolly. But, oh, they're shelling from the low ground. These fungals are actually going to make breaks in this game, probably. They need to be spot on, and of course they get obliterated by Seed Blast. Oh, it takes two no. Seed Blast to kill an Infestor, and now none of them are left, so I almost want to just hand this game to Select an Optic Zero already. Just losing that many Infestors, I didn't even see a single Fungal to use. Nope, neither did I. And, um, yeah, I mean, the first two Infestors were taken out with shells from the Siege Tanks, and the Void Race dealt with a couple of the other ones, and the then the Phoenixes picked up the ones that were remaining. So, wow, very, very nice job there by Team Subsons. They are going to head through most of these units. There's a couple of roaches up. He's even going after the Poor eggs. <laughs> I'm 
Um, so this fire is going to go down. Hive was dumb. That's not going to turn into a Raiders fire anytime soon. We do have the double drop going down, though, in Optic Zero and Select Base. Looks like Select was able to recover pretty well. Now we have the rest of the units dropping down for Pythonus. Not really sure why, but he has done pretty significant damage to Optic Zero's base. Uh, but Select is going to move over there and clean up that as well. Yep, and this huge Void Ray wall slash Tank Marine push from Select and Optic Zero is still going strong. They've denied that natural completely now to my Dali and the sort of split drop attacks from Pythonus. Obviously, we're not nearly as effective, so uh, they're still just rolling. How many Void Rays is that? Probably six or seven. Yeah. That's like six Void Rays. There are actually right eight there. on the field. Yeah, two, two more on the way. There they are, headed very close to... Uh, MYM Dolly's base. Siege tanks alone are going to be enough to take out this gold base, and Dolly suddenly left with very, very little. Pythonus did not really have much infrastructure left after doing that double drop and not doing much damage with him either. So he's sitting at 2 1 upgrades, so that's kind of nice, but uh, you need way, way more Marines yep. to be able to handle all the Void Rays and Siege tanks that are basically in your base already. Absolutely. There's already plus one air weapons up for Optic Zero as well on these Phoenixes and Void Rays, so that's. that's Pretty good. Is he going to rebuild the hatch? No, no <laughs> that would not be, going to have that luxury. That would be silly. But um, <laughs> what, we've got some yellow and red blobs moving around. What is that? Just a bunch of roaches and marines. Yep, roaches and marines with a couple of the tanks sprinkled in. They're going to be a pretty good sized force here out of Selecto. Select does stim up. He does not have any upgrades. So these marines from Pythonus are actually going to be pretty powerful here. But they are running into a siege line, and that's going to be the end of a lot of those units. Even if they're able to break this, which they won't even be able to do that. Nope, they they have to turn around and say, even if they did that, Select is going to reinforce so well, and Optic is already taking up these bases. This is uh, not a pretty sight. We do have a couple more upgrades coming up for Pythonus, though. Those were very well staggered siege tanks, and they were the reason that Select was able to repel that tiny force. And now there's just nothing really left alive. I see some more investors being created, but they actually take a really long time to build in. Uh, MYM Dolly knows it, just GG's out, and they are going to be eliminated from the Prodigy Team Star League, Team Sub Suns with Select and Optic Zero. Moving on 